Well, living in Melbourne, uh, COVID-19 has had a pretty big impact. I, I miss seeing the team. And as you can see, the whole office is clear at the moment. My name's Sam Coleman. I've been working at LCI Consultants for about three years now. One of our clients that I was working with at the Austin Hospital asked a very simple question. If this is an aerosol transmitted disease, how far can it get through a ventilation system? My answer at the time to her was, we don't know, but we'll find out. My name is Simon Witz. I'm a principal engineer at LCI. My responsibilities are to lead projects, to work with the younger engineers, help bring them through as the next, next generation of designers. Obviously, uh, we're in rather strange times. We're working with the Victorian government at the moment, doing uh, what's called their hotspot analysis. If someone coughs or if, they, if there's an aerosol in the room that's holding a virus, um, how and where is it likely to end up? So whenever anyone coughs, sneezes, or otherwise puts an aerosol into the air in an office, it has the potential to spread not only through that room, but then continue up into the return air grills of an HVAC system. And that means that it'll continue on to air handling unit, potentially throughout the rest of the building. The way a ventilation system works is we try and mix the air as effectively as possible within the, uh, within the space. So a, um, a supply diffuser that you'll see in the ceiling, normally a square thing with lots of slats on it, doesn't blow the air down, it blows the air out and across, creating these patterns that we can see in the spaces. So when something like a cough enters into to a room, it's actually caught and mixed with those air streams that flow around and, and, and flow within the building. It's a, a very hard thing to predict and the way the aerosols move is the way that the air moves within the building. As far as solutions go, whenever we've got return air going back to our air handling unit, instead of recirculating it back into the space and potentially carrying some of those aerosol particles, we just expel the whole lot and bring in only outside air, which is going to be clean. I think what we're doing is going to inform how we design things going forward. Even though maybe we do come up with a solution to COVID-19, that doesn't mean that we're not going to have problems with other diseases in the future and all hospitals have to be built with this understanding. The project and the modelling has really thrown up some interesting things. In reality, we have a, uh, a pandemic every year. We have a mini pandemic every year. It's actually called flu season. We've got the tools now that we can really in-depth analyse these room by room. Now we're starting to realise just how important they are and what kind of effects they can have. 